Having reviewed this evidence in this case, I have determined that there are no reasonable grounds nor reasonable suspicion to believe that this officer committed any offenses. Looking at the evidence in its entirety, it is clear that the officer was responding to a call of an individual whose behavior was erratic, who was possibly suicidal, who may have been involved in an incident where he swung a bat at two young women, and who was also potentially armed. When the officer encountered the man, the evidence established that the man was armed with a knife and in a position to cause grievous bodily harm or death. The evidence also established that the man actively pursued the officer while armed with that knife. After the officer directed the man to drop the knife no less than 12 times before the use of the taser or CEW, which failed to disarm or disable the man or dissuade him from his path, uh, the officer was left with little option. In these circumstances, the man both subjectively and objectively presented a risk of grievous bodily harm or death to the officer. The force used by the officer was reasonable and justified. The officer had diligently tried to avoid the use of lethal force as demonstrated by his repeated attempts to get the man to drop the knife, the unsuccessful use of the CEW as an intermediate weapon in an attempt to disarm and incapacitate the man, and his very clear warning to drop the knife or the man would be shot. But as the man closed the distance, the officer was left with no other options.